All right, in the last video, we covered the fact that you could take an object, make it active, hold another object by holding shift in object mode and hitting tab, and it becomes um, the inactive object. And then I said that you could take a vertice, click on snap, face, active, and it will automatically snap. To the mesh. Or I showed you how to use sculpt mode. Either one works. But I wanted to review doing this one more time because I have those I have those certain kind of students that are very particular about lining things up. Okay. They're almost O C D level uh, and that's fine. It's it's perfectly fine to be O C D in this field. Uh, wireframe will yield this, so I can snap that. Good. All right, at least now I get a, an idea how that's going to look. Before, if I used sculpt mode, it was kind of messy. But again, either or works, because what happens next is the fact that these two objects, object one and object two, if I hold shift, I can highlight both of them. I can join these together. Okay. And then the fun part. Sometimes it's easier to go wireframe to do this because you can see what happens. Let's go into edit mode. Go to vertice. And this is my workflow. Ready? Okay. Control right click. We'll make a marquee selection via lasso, highlighting two vertices. Then over here, I have merge. And I choose at center. Uh, let me do that again. I might have ill-selected something. Okay, there we go. Merge. There we go. Now that was two commands. I don't like two commands. I like one command. Here's repeat last. It is also shift R. So let's do this. Shift R. Now, whether this is a cruel joke on the fact that Blender has shift R assigned to rotate, I think that's because of the fact that I'm in the Maya preset. So if I just use the button, I'm all right. Okay, sometimes it screws up, so you have to go back. So if I wasn't using the Blender variation of keyboard shortcuts, I should be able to use Shift-R. But I like my Blender Maya mix. Now, this is monotonous. No doubt about it. Is there a way to join both of them together automatically going all the way around? I wish there was. That would be nice. And of course, I, I know some propeller head blender person right now is running, kicking and screaming to the help forum to figure out a way to join the two objects together 
via all the way around. And there might be some script out there. What's really funny about Blender people are that there's these Blender people out there that's been in Blender for decades, absolute decades. So if you mispronounce like a button or if you say, oh, you know, don't say there's a hot key for that or something like that, they get all very offended. It's very funny. So let's take and join these two objects. Got object one, object two. Again, I'm just going to go in here and join those. And then edit mode and start stitching these together. Now you know why lower res characters are easy to produce. And then you want to go higher. Oops. Now this probably has a shortcut. M I think I'm just going to take my time and go all the way around and as a new student you should always look up hotkeys when you get savvy with something you know after the third or fourth button click you know go to Google to type in like merge uh, shortcut key blender 2.5 and it's it's good karma for you I don't want to give you all the secrets it's boring that way look at that we have a character that's all one mesh so the old idea of the concept works out pretty good to make the character and it gives a good flow and then all of a sudden when you merge it this becomes a legit character, okay? Now everything is flowing quite well. Quite well in, a, in some manners, not so quite in others. Let's look at this in solid. Now, right up here, these are good polygons, good polygons, but good polygons, and all of a sudden, whoa, okay? So in this area, it gets stretched out quite a bit. There's no doubt about it. This is going to affect textures. It's going to affect a lot of things. So it's so much easier. Just hit Control R in edit mode. And put an edge loop in this area. There we go. So I fixed it up just a little bit. All right, well, the symmetry is kind of broke on this character, so we're going to be looking at uh, taking it and duplicating it over to the other side and fixing the symmetry. That way, when we do sculpt on it, it works out rather well. In the next video.